This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll play stop the police and come to the door! <laughs> Walk towards me slowly. Turn around. Get your hands up, mate. Place hands in this wall if you back to it now. I really appreciate you joining me today and thank you for all the support and some of the donations in the live chats that have been made over the past few weeks. I really do appreciate it and don't forget to like the video because it tells YouTube that you support the channel. Some videos have been shadow banned on all different platforms due to some of the news that they don't want promoting. This first story from this episode is about a gun dealer called Jordan Geo Hagen from Erdington in Birmingham who has been jailed for 14 and a half years for selling machine guns and also handguns and ammunition that he manufactured in his own home. The 23 year old was offering everything from revolvers to assault rifles and they found evidence that the ammunition was being made directly by him. Jordan was arrested at his home in Erdington and inside his home they found tools needed to convert blank firing bullets and also firearms. Alongside the handgun ammunition they found shotgun shells and also bullet casings. Searches of his mobile phone found video footage of him showing off with the firearms that he sent to other people in order to try to sell them. They also revealed text messages where he spoke to other people about committing crimes and trying to obtain firearms to do this. In one of the messages he said, I've got some beef with my brethren and I want to kill him. I need to get a shotgun sorted to smoke him. Can you get me 20 gauge slugs? This is the type of caliber of bullet that is going to cause a lot of damage inside the shotgun. There was also another message saying that they need a pocket rocket which is slang for a small handgun and tomorrow something cheap that slaps. He was also advertising the fact that he could obtain 12 gauge double barrel shotguns, model 27 semi-automatic MK Stens and other firearms. Jordan admitted possession of a firearm, possession of ammunition and being involved in the sale or transfer of ammunition and he was jailed at Birmingham Crown Court. Anybody that had contact with him was then investigated and one person was jailed for five years for possession of a firearm. One of the guns in the video was found and it was proven to be a viable firearm and Detective Chief Inspector Peter Cook from the Regional Organised Crime Unit said Jordan was very capable of selling these firearms and causing a lot of damage and the criminals dealt with him because he had no criminal record so he thought that he was able to be cleverer than the police but now he has been jailed and they are very happy with the sentence that he's been given. And this follows an increase in shootings in Birmingham with four shootings in the past three days and one man being shot in the face in Chelmsley Wood. One of the scenes that I attended on the 10th of September was in Quinton where the police said that two boys on bikes fired at a car that was driving past and they tried to run them down. Police helicopters, armed response and also dogs searched the scene trying to gather evidence and bullets were found at the scene. Nobody has been arrested yet and the investigation is still underway. Two days before that, two firearms were let off in Smevik, but the incident wasn't reported for five hours. So at four o'clock in the morning on the 8th of September, the two guns were discharged in Malrose Place and the incident was only reported at 9.25 the next day, which was five hours after it had occurred. The police have recovered CCTV and they're trying to also find people that were at the location at the time, but no arrests have been made and nobody was injured. The shooting in Chelmsley Wood in the Tolls Cross area happened on the same day as the Quinton shooting on the 10th of September where a man suffered injuries to his face and chest after a gun was discharged in a residential street. So it's definitely worrying the amount of shootings that have occurred and the story with Jordan shows where these firearms also come from as well. A lot of the time they're just converted firearms or ammunition that is literally made inside somebody's home and this is also highlights the dangers that are associated with manufacturing cheap ammunition and also the things that can go wrong in relation to that. In some other news coming from West Midlands Police, a gang has been jailed for robbing 50 homes. They stole around £300,000 in jewellery and also cash. The burglars struck mainly across Birmingham, Sandwell, Solihull and the Warsaw area between November 2022 and January 2023. 
The gang would wear masks and they targeted addresses and forced their way inside. On some occasions they would target properties where no one was present, but there was times where victims were confronted by the thieves inside their own homes. Police reviewed hours of CCTV footage and examined forensic opportunities and also tracked phone data records to gather the evidence to be able to convict the group. They was initially able to identify two vehicles. One was an Audi RS3 and the other was a VW Golf and they were on false plates and used to flee the scenes. They identified Jason McDonough as well as being a seller and a buyer of an Audi and they connected him to associates that were also involved in the criminal enterprise. The police tracked McDonough, aged 32, Darren O'Halloran, 38, Barney Casey, 22, and also Barney Casey, who is 22, to the Yorkshire area, and they were arrested in February. Following further details, Daniel Harty, 32, was later arrested in Wales. The four of them, of no fixed abode, were originally from Ireland and were convicted of conspiracy to burgle following a trial on the 11th of September at Birmingham Crown Court, and in total they were jailed for 50 years. McDonough was jailed for 13 years and 6 months, O'Halloran was jailed for 12 years, Harty was jailed for 12 years and Casey was jailed for 10 years and 6 months. Sergeant James Bertles from the investigation team said, These four burglars have lost their freedom for a considerable amount of time. Their crime spree saw more than 50 homes across the West Midlands fall victim to burglaries in, in just a few months. But following the extensive inquiries and also working with Irish police, we managed to identify and link them to the series of break-ins and the police said that they were convinced that they would have continued to carry out burglaries if they wasn't arrested. So I really appreciate you joining me for these stories. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe and everybody that supports the channel every single day. It's really appreciated. You can also follow on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook for more content and the website at scarcitystudios.com. Don't forget to send your stories as well to news at scarcitystudios.com and I'll be back again very shortly with some more. Peace.